Hey, welcome homies to another Python video. So, yeah, let's get started. First, let's define a function named fruits and let's give it a parameter named fab and let's print the fab. Okay. Now, if I call this function without the argument, as you know, it's going to hit an error. Okay. But let's say we want our function to have a default value. So if the user doesn't give any value or any argument by default, we want it to have a specific value. So what we can do, we can come over here to the parameter and then we can give this equal sign. And then inside this brackets, we can write whatever inside this quotation, we can write whatever we want. So let's say we want to print saying mango. Okay, so if the user doesn't give any argument, so by default, this fab would take a value of mango. And now if I run, it's gonna say mango. Okay, so this is how you have the default values in functions. So now let's look at the pass statements. So let's say you have a pretty much a big program where you have laid pretty much the structure of what you wanna do, or let's say you wanna build a calculator so you want functions of different stuff so let's say you want a function for addition for subtraction and then for multiplication division and stuff so let, as of now let's say we have just these two so you have basically made uh, pretty much a structure and you haven't written anything inside of these functions and now what you want to do let's say you want to print a statement let's say hello okay so now if you run, it's going to give an error because none of these functions have anything inside of them. So see, it just hit an error. So if you want to run your program with functions which have nothing inside of them, it's going to always give an error. So to not get any error, we can just use this pass. So what it's going to do, as soon as it sees this password, this will automatically mean that, okay, you have this function named addition, subtraction, whatever you may have. Okay, so we can just ignore these two and then just go to the statement that we can execute. In this case, it is the print, so it just prints print statement. So if I print, it's gonna say hello. So that's it for the pass statements. Now let's see the return statement. Okay, so until now, what we did, we made pretty much a function which had a print statement inside of it. So if I want to add two numbers, I can write A and then B. And then inside here, I can write print A plus B. And then when I call this function over here with addition 7 and 9, and if I run, it's going to give us 16, right? So what this return is going to do, this return, if I write here return, and if I write here A plus B, what this is going to do, this A plus B will now get stored in this addition function. You can imagine this addition function now to be as a variable. So this variable now would have this A plus B value. So in this case, it's going to be 7, and then 9 so 7 plus 9 would now get stored in this addition function so if we run it's not going to print anything on the screen because you have just stored the value in this addition function but you haven't printed out yet so if i write here now print and then if i call this function and now if i run it's going to print 16. okay let's do another program um Let's say you have three variables and then you want to add all the threes. You can write A plus B plus C. And then if I write here addition 9, 98, and 87. And if I run, it's not going to print because it's just been stored. The value has just been stored in this addition. To run this, we need to add the print statement. And what you can also do is that you can write another variable 
as result which now will store the value that is stored in this addition will get stored in this result and now if you call the result down here with the print statement result result and it should give the required answer 194 so that's it for the return statement the past statements and yeah so that's it for this video if you liked it please drop a like and for those who haven't subscribed yet make sure to go and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to remain updated whenever i post a new video and so yeah i've been posting python tutorials since i've started this channel and since the last two weeks every sunday i've been posting front-end projects so if you are interested to that i leave the link of both the python playlist and the front-end project playlist down in the description you can check it out so yeah so that's it for this video thanks for watching